Social media harms teens' mental health. Mounting evidence shows. What now? I found this article and I kind of just wanted to do a quick video on it, just kind of giving you my thoughts on the correlation between social media and teens' mental health. Really, just anyone's general mental health, I think this kind of goes for. So you scroll down here. You've got good old Zucky. The existing body of science scientific work has not shown a casual link between using social media and young people having worse mental health. Yeah, whatever. And so you kind of come down here and it talks about all the stats about how you know 13 to 17 year olds are basically just using a ton of social media. You know, they're roughly on it for 3.4 hours per day. TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, that's for the females. The boys are on there about 2.1 hours a day. You know, teens are showing more signs of depression more than ever. Blah, blah, blah. So why does social media seem to trigger mental health problems? All this good stuff. So my take on this is social media is not the problem, people. It's not the problem. It's you. No, but it's really just... So why does social media use seem to trigger mental health problems? I'll tell you why. Because we weren't taught how to use this stuff, right? We were just given this technology and then we all kind of just started using it. And as younger generations come up, they grow with, up with it and it becomes more of a normal thing. That's just something that you do. And not really aware of the side effects of just being on social media for several hours a day. It reminds me of like when cigarettes came out. When they first came out, they were deemed to be like a healthy thing. It was just something that you did. It was good for you. But nobody actually knew the consequences of it until later on. You know, they did some studies, I guess, and they found that, you know, it can cause cancer and all sorts of bad problems. But this is the same thing. Well, maybe not the same thing because what I'm about to say might not apply to smoking, but... It's all about finding ways to have balance. Should you eliminate social media from your life? Absolutely not. You will be behind from everyone. You will lose advantages from everyone when it comes to networking, your career, school, those types of things. You need social media. Maybe you don't need it, but it is very helpful. But at the same time, you don't want to be on there several hours a day. Our brains are only able to process so much information. Our brains haven't really changed in a hundred years, right? They're pretty much generally the same thing. But if you compare a hundred years ago to today, we take in so much more information. Back then it was just newspapers and you know, you got it once a day or maybe once a week, I'm not real sure, but now it's like I have access to everything on here at all times, anytime I want to look up something, anytime I just want to scroll, I'm taking in information. Our brains were not made to process this information. So think about it. If your brain is now taking on this information, which it was not built and designed to do, it's keep getting overstimulated. What happens when you get overstimulated? You start to feel a little bit more anxious, start to feel a little bit more depressed, start to struggle with some general mental health issues and that is what is happening so to the schools that are suing social media companies because of their own students mental health way way to find a scapegoat i think you're absolutely wrong i think that's a terrible thing that you're doing and i think you should be implementing something in the curriculum where you're teaching students the consequences of long prolonged use of social media and how you can use it in balance what you can do you know as far as like time wise as far as what you're watching on social media because i think those are all 
really big factors in this. And I don't think it's as simple as cut and dry as social media leads to poor mental health. No, not at all. I use social media, but I'm not struggling with depression and anxiety, but I'm also not on here for hours and hours a day. And this, this stuff that I do consume, a lot of it is educational. Some of it's just funny. And some of it is just entertaining to me. I'm a big sports person. It's stuff that really just brings me joy in my life. I'm not on here comparing myself to other people or, you know, uh, watching... I don't know, for example, I guess reality shows and wondering, Linda, why am I not there? Why can't I be that person? No, I watch stuff that makes me feel good. So that's the end of my rant. Uh, I just want to post this quick video because I felt bad that I haven't been able to post a video in a while and I'm actually working on it today. But I was like, you know what? I want to create something real quick, get it out there. So I hope you all enjoyed this as a little quick, short informational piece and let me know your thoughts on what you think when it comes to social media and the relationship it has to well not just teen mental health but really just overall mental health